So everybody in the firearms industry teaches us how to shoot guns, but very few instructors teach us how to think. And I think that that is lacking in the industry. What is mental agility and how can someone develop it? Well, so mental agility is, is simply the, the ability um, to think in a rapidly changing situation. And um, I, I think we would all agree that violent encounters, use of force encounters, or, or even dangerous encounters that may or may not become violent are definitely fluid dynamic situations. Uh, just just uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I weighed in and commented on an active self-protection video. And for those of you that aren't watching active self-protection, you should be. Um, where there was basically a fistfight altercation where a guy got sucker punched and then he was literally walking out the door and then he kind of changed his mind and was like, no, and pulled out a gun and shot the guy. And, and, and something, and in the comments, there was a ton of people um, who were very black and white on the thing and like, hey, that other guy started it, deserve what he got. And I try to explain to people that as it relates to the law of self-defense, um, violent encounters or dangerous encounters, contentious, whatever you want to call them, are sufficiently fluid that in one specific moment, your use of lethal force may be justified self-defense. And then in another moment, as things change, it may be a manslaughter charge. And then literally a split second later, it may be a murder charge. And people hate that because we all, you know, human beings, myself included, I'm not trashing anybody and, and you know, I'm painting myself this brush too, but human beings can tend to be intellectually lazy and they like, they like black and white answers. You know, if this, do this, if this, do that. And it typically doesn't work that way where, you know, that while the guy was sucker punching him, but the guy was about to lose consciousness, the dude was continuing his attack. Maybe he pulls his gun and shoots the guy and he's justified because he's like, hey, I was about to lose consciousness. But instead, you know, 30 seconds later, he does the exact same thing. And, and if they catch the guy, he's, he's probably going to get charged with first degree murder. And so mental agility is the ability to process what's happening in front of you. Um the same as you would not under stress, if that makes any sense, that basically mm -hmm. you can still process information. I think a lot of people, they get hit with that stress and suddenly their decision making goes down to that very primal level um, where they're reacting on emotions. And like, for example, that dude, who, his jaw hurt, he'd just gotten sucker punched, the rage took over and he straight murdered a guy. So mental, mental agility is the ability to um, think just as clearly under stress or more clearly than you would otherwise. How you develop it, um, as we discussed uh, when we were talking previously, the there's just like athleticism or a lot of other genetic components, there's going to be people that were born more mentally agile, just naturally. There's going to be people who are not quite as mentally agile, but you can't do anything about that. What you can do is develop the mental agility that you possess. Um, in my opinion, the secret sauce is mental planning, preparation through training, um, and then applying that training and testing that training under stress. And the more you do that, you know, uh, when I, when I was a paratrooper, you know, I jumped out of airplanes and you're supposed to, when you do static line parachuting, you're supposed to jump out of the airplane and, and count to 4,000. And if you, and if you get 5,000, 6,000 and you pull your reserve chute, cause something's gone wrong. Um, it was probably like 12 or 13 jumps before I consciously remember counting to 4,000 because I was basically so amped up jumping out of an airplane. It's going however, you know, however fast, you know, hundred knots or 120 knots or whatever. And, uh, and so I was just like a stressed out mess, my first dozen jumps, but then the more you do it, it slows down for you. And then suddenly I was consciously aware of things I'd never been aware of before. So figuring out what you need to plan and prepare for, preparing for it, and then testing that preparation under stress is, is really the key to building that mental agility.